Hey guys, it's me, Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. So today I want to talk about one of the most weirdest, most challenging perfumes that I own from my entire perfume collection. This is my one and only Lush fragrance that I own as well. So I've tested many of the Lush fragrances. I think a lot of their fragrances are phenomenal. I think others are super challenging, but as a whole, um, their perfumes are just so different and unique and they kind of come off a little bit indie too. So, you know, it's just not your typical smells that there's <laughs> all of you people who have tried any Lush perfumes, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, there's just so many different and weird and quirky things with their smells going on. A lot of things I like, a lot of things I find that are meh, that are a bit too difficult for me to wear. But when I tested um, their private collection, they had the whole private collection available in Amsterdam late last year. I, I know that they took them out of stores now, which is a real shame. Um, but there was one that stuck out to me out of all of them. This one is called Tank Battle. So I don't know if I've ever talked about this perfume on my channel yet. Uh, maybe in a haul one time. But this is such a, <laughs> a unique, interesting, weird, quirky uh, perfume that I just, I don't know, I didn't really prepare a review for it. Um, but I did want to just talk about it and tell you guys what I think. So Tank Battle re was released in 2019. Uh, there's a little write-up here that I want to read out to you guys. This is from their website, uh, but it's on Fragrantica. So maybe you can get like an idea of what this perfume smells like. Imagine an abandoned water tank on the edges of the city covered in graffiti and transformed into a combined home, studio and art gallery. This unique space provided the inspiration for this unexpected perfume. A blast of sweet bubblegum mingles with sharp metallic notes and a transgressive hit of spray paint to create a wearable art piece for fearless innovators. So yes, this is definitely a work of art, you guys. <laughs> it's not going to be for everyone. But when I smelled it, I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? I was so interested by it. I like pretty much bought it right away and um, I wore it. And I <laughs> when I'm in that kind of mood for when I'm feeling a little bit more adventurous or if I just want to smell weird, uh, this is the perfume that I go to. So Tank Battle. Um, there's only three notes listed. You can see when I sprayed it, it's like already a dark color. So maybe you might want to be careful if you uh, spray it on some white clothing. <laughs> three notes listed. There's patchouli, cloves, and labdanum. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is crazy, you guys. So with Tank Battle... What I'm getting is you get this very dirty accord, like dirty soil. I find it to be quite dry too. It's like a dry soil. It hasn't rained in a long time. So, you know, you know, when you water your plants, if you haven't watered them in a while, you get like this crusty kind of dryness on top. That's exactly what this smells like. And in my parents' house in Canada, it's pretty much filled with lots of plants. Like the whole place is all plants. It honestly feels like a jungle sometimes when, I, <laughs> when I'm there. And so, you know, they have to do their water, their, they have to water the plants regularly. And so this smell of watering plants, that smell of soil, sometimes it's dry, Sometimes it's moist, you know, right right after my parents or me, whoever uh, waters the plants, after they're watered, you get this very distinct wet soil smell. And I absolutely love that smell. It's also green too and very dirty. So a very dirty, dry um, soil smell. Um, you can also imagine maybe running through like a mud pit or something because <laughs> it does have this like dirty thick muggy mud kind of smell too and I know that maybe that might sound a bit strange 
or unappealing. Um, but for me, it's very, very nostalgic. So apart from this soil smell and the smell of just watering the plants and the greenness, you get a sweetness of bubble gum. And that's what I find that is so interesting, the combination of dirt and bubble gum. Um, the bubble gum smells very realistic. It smells like bubblicious, you know, the the regular flavor, just the pink one. It smells like that. It reminds me of Bazooka Joe kind of bubblegum smell. And that's also a very nostalgic scent for me because as a kid, of course, we all like candy <laughs> and bubblegum and all that. So mixing those two together is pretty much a part of like how I grew up. This is kind of a smell of my childhood. And it's it's so cool, you guys. I really enjoy this so much. So that contrast of you know, that dirty soil and the bubble gum mixing something very dark and maybe serious with something playful and fun and childlike. It's just a work of art, you guys, tank battle. Um, it's not the easiest perfume to wear ever, but <laughs> I always get a joy uh, wearing this perfume. It's just so fun. It reminds me of the artwork from Banksy. Uh, let me know guys if you guys are a fan of Banksy. He does a lot of street art. He's like an anonymous, anonymous, anonymous uh, artist. And um, I went with Andrew, my buddy, <laughs> my perfume buddy. We went to the Banksy Museum in Amsterdam and they had all this cool artwork. And I remember specifically they had this art piece um, that he did with a tank with bunny ears or something like that. Uh, but it's super cool and I just I just think this is fantastic. It's a fun fragrance, um, not for everyone, but if you want art in a bottle, if you're looking for fragrance art, um, Tank Battle is definitely one to uh, give a try because it's fun to sniff. And for me, it just makes me feel all warm and cozy because of those nostalgic feelings. Anyways, that was my video on Tank Battle uh, by the House of Lush, my one and only Lush perfume. I would love to hear what you guys think of this if you've tried it or maybe you can let me know your favorite Lush perfumes in the description box. I've been testing their body sprays whenever I go to the city. I've been testing those lately and there's a few that I have my eye on so maybe one day I'll buy it. They're not that expensive like 25 euros or 35 euros so I'm excited to explore more from this house. I like the house a lot. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.